This video is brought to you by scdkeys.com. You need store credit to buy your games anyway, so why not get it for a bit cheaper? They've got PlayStation Network $50 credit codes, and after you use our special code with GC3, you'll be getting that for just $46.64. Also, if you're looking to buy games on your Nintendo Switch, they've also got Nintendo eShop codes for $45.59 after you use the code GC3. They've also got fantastic deals on PC software such as Windows 10 and Office 2019. Check out the links in the description box below to get great deals on everything I just mentioned. Now on to the video. Unfortunately, a PlayStation 4 exclusive that I would say is highly anticipated by the PlayStation community has been delayed. However, I did see this delay coming a mile away, but still unfortunate nonetheless. Another PlayStation 4 exclusive has gotten its release window, a PS4 exclusive not a lot of people are talking about. However, I do want to shed some light on that game. A PlayStation VR title has also gotten a release window. We've gotten a release date for Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales on the PlayStation 4. Yes, another game in the Witcher universe is coming out, but far different than The Witcher 3. It's actually more similar to Gwent the Witcher card game, however, it is going to be its own standalone entry and a standalone story. And also, one of the biggest free-to-play games on PC looks like it could be coming to PlayStation 4. More on that at the end of this video. First, let's talk about the PS4 exclusive game delay that everyone's talking about. Ben Studios Days Gone has been officially delayed from its original February 22nd release date to April 26, 2018. So it's seeing a delay of a little over two months, and I saw this delay coming a mile away. I was mentioning for a while that the date of February 22nd, the original release day for Days Gone was just an awful day to release a game because on that day, we had the release of Anthem and Metro Exodus alongside Days Gone, which was originally scheduled for that day. I'm sorry, releasing a new IP like Days Gone on that day was just a bad idea from the get-go. Anthem, even though it's an EA game, it is Bioware's latest title and there's a high level of anticipation with that game and Metro Exodus, the latest game in the Metro franchise. Maybe Days Gone would have done alright, but no doubt that at least one or two of those games were gonna see a hit. Just releasing alongside two gigantic games like that, that's just not a good idea for any of those games. It's just how timing worked out, though. There's really nothing you can do about that except for delaying the game. And not only that, February is just said to be a pretty stacked month of game releases. We have games like Dead or Alive 6, Trials Rising, Crackdown for Xbox One players releasing in that month as well. It's just a very busy month, and even in this holiday season where we've had big game release after big game release, we haven't had a day where there were supposedly three gigantic games games released on the same day, and with Anthem, Metro Exodus, and Days Gone, those were three gigantic games, and we were talking about how this fall was packed with a lot of game releases. Early 2019 is absolutely absurd, but I think Days Gone moving a little bit later, closer to the summer period where there aren't a lot of games being released, I think that's the best idea, and I think it'll do well around that April period, and I think over the summer where there aren't a ton of games being released, I think people will go back when they're on break and be like, hey, Days Gone is a game I didn't check out. It was recently released, maybe it's being received well at the time, and I think gamers will give it a look. Now, I don't know if Sony specifically decided to delay Days Gone on the basis that February 22nd just didn't look to be a fantastic day for a game release. That's probably not the only reason. I'm sure they do need to polish up the game a little bit more. Whatever the case may be, I just think April 26th is going to be a better day, depending on whether or not we see a bunch of other games release on that day. But it looks like April will be a pretty open month, but we shall see as time rolls on. So Days Gone still looks to be hitting early 2019. However, it has been pushed to two months later. Another PlayStation 4 exclusive that not too many people are talking about is a game coming from Pixel Opus and being published by Sony, and that is Concrete Genie. Now, Concrete Genie is an action-adventure game, and the story takes place in a small and mostly abandoned town. You play as a young boy named Ash who regularly doodles in his notebook. A group of bullies steals his book, rips out the pages, and scatters them throughout the city, and Ash goes on a quest to recover his pages. Along this quest, he discovers a paintbrush that can bring his creations to life and bring life back to his hometown. I really like the setting and the stylization this game has going on for it. It's not that traditional big-budget PlayStation 4 exclusive that a lot of titles are, like A Days Gone, like A God of War, Marvel Spider-Man, Ghost of Tsushima, or The Last of Us Part 2, but that's fine. I want a little bit of diversity in the PlayStation 4 lineup, and I think Concrete Genie definitely adds to that. The creative director of the game also says the game is heavily inspired by Sega's Jet Set Radio, and if a game is inspired by Jet Set Radio, it's definitely going to be piquing my interest. Now, we do know that the game is scheduled to release sometime in spring 2019, so it looks like that Days Gone and Concrete Genie will be released probably around the same time, I would say a couple months apart. Spring kicks off on March 21st and ends on June 21st, so Days Gone is smack dab in the middle of that. And if Concrete Genie is around that time, that could be another PlayStation 4 exclusive to look at as we head into the summer period. Sometimes when they say spring, however, it does get pushed back a little bit deeper into the summer, sometimes even early fall. So that is something to note as well, but they are saying Concrete Genie will be out spring 2019, and it's a game I think you guys should have your eyes on. Bye. 
Next up for all you PSVR owners, everybody's Golf VR is coming in spring 2019 as well. Another PlayStation 4 exclusive. However, this one is going to require PSVR. And I don't know if a ton of people are super excited for this, but as someone that played everybody's Golf on the PlayStation Portable, I thoroughly enjoyed those games and seeing it make the transition to PSVR, I see a lot of potential here as well. Been talking a lot about how PlayStation VR's library is getting a lot of more depth to it. Tetris Effect is coming out. We know that from software is bringing out a PSVR game and everybody's Golf is going to add more depth to the PSVR library as it does launch in spring 2019. Another game to keep your eyes on. Another game that might sell some people on PlayStation VR. Moving on from that, Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales, a new game in the Witcher universe is coming this December. It's actually releasing on PC very soon, but it will be coming to PlayStation 4 in December. And if you don't know, Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales is a brand new adventure set in the dark world of witchers and monsters you might remember from The Witcher 3. Now, this game is a top-down adventure that also brings in elements of Gwent the Witcher card game, so it combines both of those elements. Definitely not similar to your traditional Witcher experience. However, you are going to get that dark story-driven RPG experience. And originally, this game was supposed to be a 10 hour campaign attached to Gwent the Witcher card game, but now it's an actual RPG featuring over 30 hours of story driven gameplay. And while card battles might turn off some people, that is only one part of the much bigger experience. This is telling the tale of Queen Meave, and it's no longer a short story adventure for Gwen. It's a fully featured standalone game and a Witcher tale through and through that you can fully enjoy whether you're a longtime fan or new to this universe. I'm sure the majority of you guys played The Witcher 3, so this is going to be right up your alley if you enjoyed Witcher 3 from a storytelling standpoint, as I would feature a lot of similarities in that regard. Obviously, gameplay's a lot different, stylization's a lot different, but it will be released at a budget price point of $29.99, so that's something to note. And if you do buy the game, you'll get a bunch of free digital goodies, and that's not just for pre-ordering the game. You can buy a post-launch and still take advantage of all of the extra content. That includes Gwent, Art of the Witcher card game, art book, as well as Fox Children, the graphic novel from Dark Horse. And on top of that, you'll get card kegs, player titles, and avatars for Gwent the Witcher card game. Thronebreaker the Witcher Tales arrives on the PlayStation 4 on December 4th. And lastly, there's a rumor circulating that Path of Exiles, one of the most popular PC free-to-play titles, could be coming to the PlayStation 4. The free-to-play game has been rated for Sony System in Taiwan, and these Taiwan ratings board often leaks a lot of games. We've seen a lot of remasters and other games be leaked on these ratings board, and usually if a game is rated on these ratings board, it does come to fruition. Now, Path of Exiles is a very popular game on PC, very much in that Diablo style, and a game that you can invest a lot of time into, and a game where you really don't have to utilize a lot of other investments. You can play this game for free and have a great time with it. It is very grindy, but that's kind of what you're expecting when you're getting into Path of Exile. The PlayStation 4's free-to-play library has been growing rapidly in recent years. We've seen games like Warface, Warframe, Planet Side 2, of course, Fortnite and WarZ, and I can go on and on and on. The free-to-play offerings on the PlayStation 4 is really expanding, and the PlayStation 4 was never really set out to be this free-to-play machine, but you have a lot of free-to-play games on the console, and that's great to see. To see the library be more diverse and to get a game like Path of Exile coming to the PlayStation 4, that is pretty massive. Again, take it as a rumor for now, but I do see this coming to fruition, and we should see an announcement sometime soon, especially considering it's been rated already in a Taiwan ratings board. And that's gonna conclude this video. Again, Days Gone coming from Ben Studios has been officially delayed from February 22nd to April 26th. Really interested to hear what you guys think about this. Again, I know that February 22nd was a packed day, but a lot of you guys were super excited for this game, so maybe you're disappointed on that end. And even with those two other major titles coming on that day, Days Gone was the game you were looking forward to the most. But let us know what you think. Concrete Genie, another PlayStation 4 exclusive, will be coming in spring of 2019. Everybody's Golf VR will be hitting in spring of 2019 as well. Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales hits the PlayStation 4 on December 4th. And one of the biggest free-to-play games on PC looks to be coming to the PlayStation 4 with Path of Exiles. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.